Tire, Local 14, is working to actually track those vaccines. Who is getting them and who can't find them? Many county officials say the supply they're receiving is far less than they would like. So we are kicking off a very special event right now with Dr. Frank McGeorge. He is here with a dive into how the state determines how much vaccine goes where. And so many people are wondering this, Doc. Well, and for good reason, Karen, but here's the thing. One that's really important to remember and acknowledge up front. Simple fact is on a national and state level, there is just not enough vaccine available for everyone who wants it. And that means decisions have to be made about where that limited supply goes. And unfortunately, that process, well, it's just not going to make everyone happy. The first guiding principle of the state's vaccine strategy is that all Michiganders have equitable access to vaccines. Yet, when you look at the state's COVID-19 vaccine dashboard, there are some immediately apparent distribution differences. You can see on the first page where the vaccines have shipped by county. Oakland County is shaded in teal, showing a high level of vaccine distribution. Detroit is light green, having received a moderate high number of shots. Washtenaw County is yellow at a moderate level, while Macomb and Wayne County are orange with a lower level of distribution. The majority of the state is shaded red, suggesting a low level of vaccine distribution. According to the spokesperson for the MDHHS, a big reason for this variation is that at the start of the vaccination campaign, healthcare systems received the majority of vaccine targeted for phase 1A healthcare workers. So, counties with more healthcare workers received more vaccine. You can partly see that reflected on this map on the third page, showing where people who received the vaccine live. Oakland County again stands out in teal, a high number of people receiving the vaccine, but Wayne County is now green at a moderate high number of people receiving a shot, and now Detroit is a shade of red, like most of the state, showing a low number of residents receiving a shot. That's because many 1A frontline healthcare workers work in the city but live in other counties. According to state officials, when Michigan opened up distribution on January 11th to people 65 and older, frontline essential workers and teachers, that necessitated a change in the allocation formula. One of the principles for this new allocation is that health disparities should be reduced and barriers to vaccination should be minimized. To accomplish that, Michigan, like many states, are adjusting allocations based on something called the Social Vulnerability Index. This number is calculated using census data for 15 different social factors, like poverty, education level, disability, access to transportation, extremes of age, and language spoken. Most areas in Detroit have a high social vulnerability index, compared to most areas in Oakland County that have some of the lowest social vulnerability. People living in areas with high social vulnerability are at risk for more severe COVID outcomes, so prioritizing them makes sense. The MDHHS shared their formula for vaccine distribution that includes the social vulnerability index. Basically, the population of a county is multiplied by a social vulnerability index multiplier, giving a population that's adjusted up or down based on the vulnerability of that area. That adjusted population then becomes the basis for allocation decisions by the state. Because the numbers of vaccine distributed to date are a combination of the earlier distribution to healthcare workers and the newly adjusted distributions, when you calculate the number of doses shipped per 100,000 people living in a county, the results are not well balanced. Washtenaw County has received almost three times the amount of vaccine than Macomb County adjusted by population, and Oakland County has received nearly double Macomb County's distribution per person. And comparing the number of doses per 100,000 people between Detroit and the remainder of Wayne County, the city of Detroit has received between two and three times the number of doses than the entire rest of Wayne County. When you do the math and you see numbers like this, it becomes obvious why people living in certain areas are especially frustrated with the distributions to date. There is a lot to factor in here. Now, what about the number of doses people actually have received by county? Is that even or is that all over the place too? Well, you know, Karen, it kind of is all over the place again because there's been a change or update to the distribution. On a population basis, people in the city of Detroit have actually received less than half the number of first doses than people living in the remainder of Wayne County. That is completely opposite of the number of vaccines distributed. So really, depending on how you look at the data, there are frankly different conclusions to be drawn.
All right, thank you, Doc. And our tracking the vaccine event, it is just getting started. Here is a look at what's coming up on Local 4 over the next few hours. I'm